Hey guys, Hyman here from the next episode of The Sims 4 where I got home and immediately went in the build mode to do the dog stuff. Alright, so I built, a, I built a little track, kind of, right in the front yard area. I adjusted the gardener level too. Guys, here's the starting and ending platform, right? You jump off and you, you go this way, right? So you go through these, then you go up them then you gotta scoot over to here and go through that hole right so a little jump then down then around this tube and through this tube and then you go jump and then low again and then you go through this again and you wind back up on the platform you know, I said I just I had to make the garden a little bit smaller but that's fine I don't really use it anyway oh bunnies hold on back in the build mode also I gotta buy a lottery ticket just in case we actually win. Because I won't have to go through and find who did win and, you know, steal their money. Okay, let's see if that helps. Does not feel like it did. It did not at all. I mean, it's doing a normal speed, but... It's usually helpful when it goes fast because that'll prove it's doing something. Yeah, it worked okay. This is I don't remember what to search for. I remember it was wild. Don't remember what else there was, but pretty sure this should. Look for something that looks rabbity. Okay, so I have to befriend a wild rabbit and then I can buy the home. Well, they did not specify that on the internet. Alright. Fine, back into live mode again. He's angry from losing a duel. And he lost two, so he must be super angry. Is it social or business? Let's try social. Okay, business. Shouldn't be travel. I suppose home would make sense. Okay, there we go. Apparently it is shopping, so I'll purchase lottery ticket. Okay, and then we need to fill the dog bowl. No, not check dust level. We're going to fill. We will grab this and throw it in there. And then she also should buy a lottery ticket. Now to you. Hello, Merlin. Uh, we'll just go ahead and replace. I don't feel like repairing anything right now. Okay, we're going to work on filling his needs quickly, and then we're going to practice some more magic, which means let's go ahead and pop that one up. Get leftovers. Okay, we'll do here since that was useless. Okay, 
can my magic sim make someone else magical? I'm pretty sure there's a Can a spell tester compare it all? After entering magic, you can find one of the three stages at the beginning of the quest becomes special. The players can turn any of their existing sim characters into. Well, that's not. Okay, um. Can my. Spellcaster. Turn another sim into a spellcaster. This doesn't seem overly useful right now. I'm pretty sure you can. I think the Rite of Ascension is the spell to do it, but I don't know for sure. Okay, Rite of Ascension is a virtuoso, but still the gift of miracle, but yeah, but still this gift of magic on another sim. Can save a family member from picking up most of them for a sage. Here we go. So yeah, right of ascension in practical magic. So yeah, the virtuoso spell I think is the one you have to learn from the master trainers. So. Okay, now I'm an acolyte. I can do delicioso and the floral thing. So when you get off the toilet, we are going to practice magic. Practical magic. And yeah, we're going to practice practical magic. Because now I can get delicioso and floral l'oreal. Alright, so yeah, once I learn the spells, I'm going to be working on duels anyway, so we'll... And since the tome was a potion thing, I'm not going to really care too much about that anyway now. I'll read it at some point. Yeah, so rank three and then duels, so.
do 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 Magic. Practice practical. Nope, that was mischief. I want to practice practical magic first. Why does he look young again? froze like that I thought maybe he learned the spell that maybe something was happening to cause it to actually work do 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 yeah. I mean it's fun to watch but it's like it's not a whole lot happening, so I'm just like, okay, well, I need to try to be entertaining, and uh, I mean, it's hard to really think of stuff to just talk about when I'm just kind of watching him practice magic and not getting anywhere, it seems, so. Alright, I can't make him do anything more interesting because I need him to progress in the, progress in learning spells. Okay, do I still have a potion of sleep? I don't want to waste more of my points now because I have a good amount of aspiration points at the moment. It's instant fun. No. Okay, you learned the delicioso. Still, I think you only get points when you level up, which is kind of stupid. You should be able to get points when you just by doing certain things. But I think you only get points by leveling up. Yep, create a tasty meal out of thin air. That will come in handy. But since he now needs to sleep, because I am not going to spend more points. And that, because how many points does he have? He has 7,000. Reward store. Like, is it's forever full? Which I would like to have, but I don't. Never Weary would be great. Never Weary and Needs No One are the two best options. But Needs No One for him isn't all that big of a deal. I mean, his social is low right now, but as soon as she gets home, we do some woohoo work. Good. Never Weary would be great. The problem is, is getting those points, because... I either have to 
leave the aspiration for another aspiration to work on it, or I gotta fulfill this aspiration, but I'll see you when he wakes up. Okay, he woke up, we did some woohoo for a social need, we paid bills, and now he's gonna practice practical magic again to try to get the floral oriole spell. And of course now he has to go to the bathroom. Yeah. Whatever. That's fine. Bathroom's fine. My feet are cold. Maybe I should switch them over to my shoes. Oh, my slipper shoes. Hey, he's earned, mo he's earned money on his day off. I have no idea what that is. Feed. Clean the shed. No. I mean, he's outside. That's fair enough. I also like how the phoenix makes noise every time I learn something. <laughs> Floral Oriel, keep your plants healthy and bug free. Well, that's it for the acolyte level of this one. So we're going down to Mischief Magic and we got Furio and Infatuate. So magic, practice magic, mischief magic. Let's follow him. So I got to befriend a rabbit, huh? interesting I mean at some point yeah not a problem <laughs> oh, so you just decided not to practice magic okay I love how they just decide not to do shit that you tell them to do so that's always fun right Practice magic. We're gonna go mischief magic because we need Furio and Infatuate. I don't know what the untamed one is yet. I haven't scrolled down to look. He's not acting like an elder. Because he has his priorities, but I don't want to not. Right, like I don't want to not make the dog happy, right? So we'll we'll play with it a bit. Okay.
because I don't want to let the leftovers spoil, I'm going to get leftovers even though I have Delicioso. Never put those on. Go ahead and eat. My magic. Practice magic. Practice mischief magic because you have not learned Furio or Infatuate. <laughs> Slipper. I mean, it might technically be shoot. I'm not 100% sure. It slides on as an elastic-y thing on top instead of any sort of lace. So I count it as a slipper. It's warmer than my uh, flip-flops that I was wearing. Practicing magic on the chicken coop probably doesn't seem like a good idea. Okay, we learned Furio. Next is Infatuate. Can't wait to see what we do with that spell. Probably nothing. <laughs> right? Practice more mischief magic. Scatter feed. Yeah, it's probably just actions. When he finishes this training section, let's do a couple of let's do a couple of dog stuff, and then we'll go back to to magic. 
So, I mean, since he's there, right? He's a loyal dog. He likes to stay close to his owner, and that means Cora is a loyal puppy. Yeah. Yeah, you. Are you going to learn the spell? Please? Please learn the spell. Pretty, 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 please? No, you didn't learn anything, huh? All right. Before you get too far. Magic. Practice magic. Mischief magic. Because, yeah, he doesn't have Infatuate yet, so. Practice magic, buddy. He needs to learn infatuate. Alright, there it is, infatuate. Nice. Next is of course untamed magic. Okay, we got zip zap and necro call. Magic, we're gonna practice magic and untamed magic. Yeah, if you harness your electro energy and give something a jolt and then summon the dead from their final resting place. Cast this on a grave to summon the ghost. Yeah. And then, yeah, you can restore a ghost to their physical form with de deathify. Audio was successful. We'll see who won. And we'll see who won later, I guess. So after this practice session, whether he learns something or not, well, all right. Wait, Chilio. Chilio is a debt. How did he learn Chilio? Is it from being confident?
Yeah, I was supposed to learn Zip Zack or Necro Call. What the shit? Yeah, we have Chilio down as an adept thing. Oh. Offer protection. Make your magic more potent. So, is that why he. Was able to learn Chilio? That seems weird. I'm not gonna complain about it because it just gets me a little bit ahead. Yeah, I'm obviously not an acolyte yet. No. I mean, an adept yet. Alright, well, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.